I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to 6pm content on day 2 of the Serie A team of the season so far. Had to think what day it was got a couple of packs to open they're nothing crazy just packs from doing certain objectives and things uh but what we're going to do right now is have a look at our uh, player moments uh, rafael leo 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 the ac milan striker he looks pretty saucy i've got a bad feeling there's going to be something wrong with him uh, he looks quick. He looks like he's got the dribbling. Um, his passing looks suspect. Let's have a little look. Four star, four star, high, low work rates. Oof. Six two though. That for me isn't an instant turn off, but it's kind of like a mm, not a massive fan of it. And then I like it. I do like it actually. Four star, four star. Great acceleration. Good sprint speed as well. Finishing's nice. Shot power is nice. Attack position is nice. Don't care too much about the long shots, volleys, and penalties. Would be nicer if they were better, but it's it's not the end of the world. Short passing and vision is terrible for this stage of the game and a 90 plus rated card, but he's a striker, so I'm not that bothered by it really. The the dribbling across the board is very Ronaldo esque in the sense that you know everything's great apart from the balance. So again, I don't have a problem with it really good heading decent enough physicals you know great strength the stamina is okay okay it would be nice if it was better but it's that's fine aggression is up there it's not great but again it's sort of mm, that's a good card that is a good card 84 84 84 85 mm, i don't know he looks a little short on his dynamic image i'll give him that but i don't know i th i th i mean the, the problem is, right, if you can afford to do that in terms of coins, like say you've got almost nothing in the club and you're going to go and spend coins to get it, right? Are there better cards out there for that price? Maybe. Probably. If you're an AC Milan fan, you're all over this. If you need that card to go in your team and he fits perfectly... Maybe you've got Ronaldo and you need a strong link to him. Brilliant, because that looks like a good card, right? Two very similar players next to each other, by the way. I Honestly, I think that could be the cheap Ronaldo. Okay, he doesn't have five-star skills, but he's got high-low work rates. He's got four-star, four-star. He's the same height, if not very similar height to Ronaldo. He's got pace, finishing ability. The dribbling across the board is, is sensational. He's got that strength as well. I, I would say that he's going to feel quite similar in game, actually. I don't know what his body type is. I'd be very interested to see that. I want to know what price that is. What is an 84, 85 rated team? I'm not sure. The team I'm going to give up might surprise a lot of you, but these cards at this point are just dead now. Uh, there's a better, better Axel Witzel that I own uh, out. That Fabregas was good when it came out, kind of, but just not anymore. Hakimi has a much better card. Uh, Acuna has a... I think he has a better card, but I just never use it anyway. And, of course, a Murillo wasn't i mean i only did that for content purposes and i have d a duplicate hinterega which i need to go and recover which i'll probably end up putting into the 84 uh, rated team for him i've got a comparison of him and ronaldo side by side and honestly the difference is just minimal it's crazy how similar they are I'm not like i'm saying I'm not saying he's going to be or feel the same in game but it's definitely worth mentioning if you're a massive fan of Ronaldo and can't afford him but have untradeables in your club and you kind of want a similar stat player. The review will tell us all and whether he actually is a similar player. Probably not, but we'll have to wait and see. That's Team 1 submitted. Like I said, this is just a content account, right? So I'm really not bothered about the players I've just given up there. If I was that concerned, I wouldn't have done it. I would have just said, look, we'll have a look at the stats, but we won't actually submit it. Uh, let's have a look and see what uh, what this team consists of. One Milan and an 84 rated team overall. And that is the 84 rated team. Uh, like I said, uh, Hinteregger was a duplicate. I went and recovered him, so I put him in. So they were both untradeable. That's fine. Corona has a better card than that out now. It is a right back, but it's much better and it's not expensive at all. And yeah, the rest of it was just fodder from the club. I did buy Ebra, but he only cost me 9.5k. So to get this card for what I had in the club and then maybe 10, 15k on top, 
I'm all right with it. Ra I can't say his name though. Raphael Leo, Leo, Leo. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be Leo, right? Either way, it's irrelevant because that card, honestly, on paper, reminds me of Ronaldo so much. I'm very, very excited to get him into game and to see if he's really is the cheap Ronaldo, you know? I mean, that's literally the only reason why I've done this is to see how similar he is in game to Ronaldo because if we go over uh, and have a look at uh, the screen that I've... Hang on, let me, let, me, let me sort myself out here. I don't know why that sidebar is showing. Let me go and, uh, and, and take you over to this screen right here. Now, this is... Ronaldo and Rafael Leo's Team of the Season Moments card next to each other. You can see that the difference between the two is almost nothing. Uh, 2,265 in-game stats for Ronaldo, 2,263 for Rafael Leo. So literally two in-game stats difference between the, the two cards. Five-star skills, of course, for Ronaldo, only the four for Rafael. I'm going to call him Rafael from now on. And then... I'm not going to go through it stat by stat because some, you know, he, Raphael smashes Ronaldo and Ronaldo will smash Raphael. So it, it's very similar though across the board. If you want to slow it down, if you want to go look at this yourself, I mean like passing, for example, it's almost identical everywhere. It's just one or two points either side and it, it's almost a very similar situation then. So the balance 71, 73, agility 93, 87, the reactions 96, 90. It's very similar across the board. Even down here in the physical, the strength massively goes to Raphael, but the the stamina is basically the same. R Ronaldo smashes him for jumping, and then the aggression is kind of is ten points difference, but it's so low that they're both the same as well. So on paper, they are very very similar cards. Now in terms of the the price of this, I have waited long enough. We should have a price now. A hundred and twenty k is a lot of money to spend on a card like this. I'm not gonna know if he's any good until I do the review. So we're going to have to take it with a pinch of salt. Do I think it's worth it? If it's if he's a carbon copy of Ronaldo, yeah, because the, uh, the Ronaldo's card uh, is still coming in at around 300k. It's not going to be. It, it, as, as similar he is on paper, I don't think he's going to feel like Ronaldo in game. I might be wrong in saying that, but I don't think he is. So to, to sort of tout this as the cheap Ronaldo is all well and good by looking at the stats. But in terms of the actual gameplay, I don't think uh, I don't think he'll be Ronaldo-esque. But that's not to say that he won't feel good. I think he will be a good player, but I don't know if he's quite 120k good. I'd like this to have been more sort of... 70k uh, you do get a couple of packs back which may prove to be uh beneficial they may they may give us some good stuff we'll, we'll have to wait and see here i'm just going to check everything in the club and i'll sort it all out after but um we may get lucky from them i, I don't know what were the packs like a prime i want to i want to like make sure that i know what packs i'm, I'm getting and what packs i uh what packs we are opening from that sbc because i want to sort of take note if you will. Is this an untradeable? It is an untradeable pack. And I will discard that, list that up. So the packs are premium mixed players and a prime electrum. Let's go and open those right now and we'll see what we get. In fact, we'll open those last because I want to. I just want to zip through these. I don't know where these are coming from and what what's going on with them, but we'll, we'll just rinse through them really, really quickly. Let me know what you think of that card in the comments. I think it, it, it will be a good card to use. I just think the price tag is maybe a little bit on the steep side. I think um, whatever team and, and rating equivalent of a maybe a 70 rated uh, team would have been probably better and, and more, more fair than anything else. I think at this stage, you know, for a is he going to be Ronaldo, is he not, to then have to spend 120k to find out that, oh, actually, no, nothing like Ronaldo. Um bit disappointing really but uh, these packs are diabolical to be fair they are actual diabolical packs as well so i can't really expect anything better typical that we've got the the two rays that um from team of the seasons that have already been italian and french league is what we want uh, we're not going to get anything from there although it did guarantee me a ray so is that a silver or a yeah it was a bronze even better even better see if we can get 450 for him discard the charlton player and right this is what we've come down to so 
these are the packs you get back from Raphael. Uh, like I said, maybe 70k would have been fair. Uh, 120-ish is maybe not. If I can pack something here, though, that's maybe worth 10, 20k, then it might have brought it down to the point where I'm thinking to myself, okay, not bad. But that's for me. And, and you know, you can't sit there and say, well, okay, I'll... I'll do it. The packs I get back then are going to pay for it because it, that's obviously not going to happen. It's going to be the, it's going to be different for everybody, right? And the final pack, Prime Electrum. We didn't get anything in the first one. Maybe three or four K if we're lucky. A couple of silvers in there that may have sold for something. We're not going to get a board in this one, so it's highly unlikely we're going to make any real money back, and we don't because the the rares that we get are from Team of the Seasons that have already been, so we can't really sell them for a lot. We could maybe get one, 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 two once the upgrades for the Serie A and the French League come out in particular. The silver we can sell for about a 1,000 coins. We're not looking at an awful lot here. If I was to discard it all, I'd get three and a half or just under four. If I sold it all, I could probably get between five and seven if I'm lucky. Uh, so... You know, that, that's probably cost me around 100 and, 110, 105. Maybe a touch too expensive. And 30k off that and we would have been laughing, I think. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Are you going to do it? Have you done it already? Have you used him? Does he feel like Ronaldo? Does he look like Ronaldo? Is it a cheap Ronaldo? That's basically what I'm getting at. Uh, let me know. If you haven't enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.